Good morning, people of YouTube. I am going to continue tinkering on my home lab today. It is Saturday morning and I uh, had a short but pretty good sleep. Uh, I should really start focusing on my sleep a little bit more. This is um, <laughs> uh, this home lab working is, has gotten me so enthusiastic recently that uh, I'm losing sleep on it. Uh, in and not because I'm worried or anything, but because I'm just so enthusiastic about it, and uh, maybe I should bring bring that down a, a little notch. However, um, now it's Saturday morning, a new day, and I can uh, do some more tinkering. I have my daylight lamp shining upon me, and uh, let's uh, get going. So yesterday I managed to set up my data sources as code in Grafana. And let's check out if that's still working as expected. Um, mm, 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 data sources, Prometheus from co code. And test this one out. And we successfully queried the Prometheus API. And if we explore this, we can take the, a node CPU rate and for the last six hours and uh, we get metrics so that's great the thing that we don't have is dashboards so in the Q Prometheus stack uh, helm chart you get all these nice flashy dash dashboards and I I want to steal those so I'm going to change my contacts to my rancher desktop cluster and if I look in there with lens, you can see that there is a bunch of config maps here. And these are all dashboards. So you have Kubernetes core DNS, multi-cluster.json. So this config map contains a cluster.json file. So the con you have the config map. It has labels. Grafana dashboard one. This is how it gets discovered. We figured that out yesterday evening. And then it has data. And then it has the file name. And then data. Now, a friend of mine he did this recently and he gave me this script. So let's see, let's check out that script. And in my home lab repo, I'm going to make a directory called utils. And in here, just going to write quickly collection utils collection of scripts and uh, tools I use to uh, set up or maintain my home lab because I expect there are going to be more of these kinds of things. Let's start the Pomo timer and config map collector so this is a bash script it goes into the namespace that I set it to it gets all a list of the name of the config maps. In the config map, it goes the get config map. It gets the config map as JSON. Uh, it goes and extracts, it, it extracts the key that is called dot JSON here.
yeah, if there's no JSON in it, it goes to the next one. Extract the JSON value. It, it sorts the JSON value. Yeah, okay, so it only sorts it as JSON files. But you know what? I'm just going to run this. Let's go into the Prometheus stack. And I'm just going to make a temporary copy of this. Okay, Prometheus stack, that's the name of the namespace. We are in the Ranger desktop, so let's run config map collector. So these are all written as JSON files. Kubernetes resources node.json. Ah, so this is just a JSON file. And if I then just go to dashboard, create, import, and add the raw JSON here, and import this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is so funny. Cool. I can go to my ThinkPad and check out what the ThinkPad is doing. That's really cool. Wow, that's a really nice little script that uh, he wrote. So now I have everything as JSON files. Is it then possible for me to just mount that into a Grafana? Uh, I thought I saw something here. Uh, sidecar dashboards. Sidecar dashboards enabled. And then sidecar dashboard provider type. Uh, dashboards extra mounts. Additional dashboard sidecar volume mounts. So could I could I just mount that then? Configure additional volumes and volume mounts with extra volume mounts. Name plugins. Okay. So I can just have them as a mount, apparently. Mount path var lib Grafana dashboards, user shared Grafana dashboards. And 
then here is there are a few methods to import da dashboards. This is just in code. Here we have the sidecar dashboards and goes into a config map. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of like the volume part because then I don't have to create a config map for every dashboard that I want. So here it says dashboards. So let's check out in the Grafana pod. Prometheus stack Grafana bash user share Grafana. user share it's only shared var lib grafana var lib grafana here we have plugins yeah so that's the, the grafana the strava data source that i have there Okay, so I wonder if I just add stuff to that directory, if it just is going to read it, basically. Well, I can just try, right? Um, <clears throat> Additional Grafana server volume mounts. So these are the mounts for the sidecar, but I can just have a mount probably for the dashboards. But how am I then going to store the dashboards on that volume? I will have to create the, the volume itself, I suppose. Does this thing have an ID? that would be really nice if I have it as an ID but 
yeah, GNET ID null. So it's not they are not published on the internet as such. So either I make a config map out of each of these that I, that I could do, or I have to put it put them in a persistent volume. Uh, create add Grafana dashboards from volume. Best practices and dashboards as code. Um, oh, that's interesting. Dashboards as code and GitOps, R committed dashboards. Describes how to use a local directory which Grafana will watch and load dashboards from. Provision Grafana. You can manage dashboards in Grafana by adding YAML config files in the provisioning dashboards directory. Each config file can contain a list of dashboard providers. Okay, yeah. So that's good, but generate Grafana compatible JSON. Add that to the CI, configure Grafana to pick up files from that directory and support developer workflow. Yeah, dashboard generation. We already have the dashboards as JSON, so that's cool. cool. Automatic provisioning of generated dashboards into Grafana instance. We want to load the committed generated dashboards. On the other hand, we will not fully recreate Grafana on every commit. Following instructions show you how to do this on a self-hosted Kubernetes setup of Grafana. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, they created a thing, Grafana Helm chart. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. Here they have the data sources in data sources.yaml actually. That that looks a lot cleaner than how I have it with these sidecars. Okay, so we have the dashboard providers.yaml. It allows the updates, and then those dashboards are 
in Varlib Grafana dashboards default. Then we have an extra container named collect dashboard config maps in directory. And we have a volume mount which is mounted into that sidecar container. So we, we, are ex we are creating our own sidecar here. <coughs> Grafana is dashboards from a directory structure. In the Kubernetes where we can put generated dashboards into a config map. They, however, have a one megabyte limit each. Ah. We will render all dashboards into one manifest file, and that YAML file will contain one config map object per dashboard. Coming, committing that file in a GitOps fashion is easy to add in your CI. We use the sidecar to automatically connect, collect all JSON dashboard files into one directory. Sure, but it's still not saying how this is a really good article actually I'm going to actually really read this this seems like a very good one I'm gonna read the entire thing here but I felt I feel like I was almost there but here he is I'm reading the script he is rendering the JSON it and then it's still creating config maps. But it's not running the script here, right? We just have the extra containers.
we are saying this is a dashboard provider and the provider looks at this directory this collection is mounted to that directory in the Grafana container and then we have an extra container Well, I'm definitely saving this article, but it's, it's not what I need, unfortunately. I just want a way to get all these, dash, these, J, these J, JSON files into my Grafana instance. can manage dashboards in Grafana by adding one or more YAML config files in the provisioning dashboards directory. Each config file contains a list of dashboard providers that loads dashboards into Grafana from the local file system. When Grafana starts, it will update, insert all dashboards available in the configured path. So how are they doing it in this Helm chart then? You have the dashboards. Oh, here they are having them as config maps. Config map dashboards. This is a kind config map list. So this will go over all of the dashboards, label them to JSON. I'm, I'm almost there. I just need a way to get all my JSON files into my Grafana container. but I'm definitely saving this one for later. So uh, am I going to import them as JSON files or as config maps? That's the kind of the question that I want. I already have the JSON files here, 
but the JSON files do not like when you have them on a volume, you will still need to have providers here. Oh, you need, oh wait, you need only one provider. And that provider looks at this directory. Okay, so let's just try to back to this one. Disable persistence for so all data is lost on restart. Yeah, because I need to think about this. Like, do I want uh, persi I want to have persistence, but I also want to have a set of default dashboards provisioned into my Grafana instance. Yeah, I don't necessarily want to have all of my dashboards in there. I just want to have these default JSON files that I have. Dashboard providers. Is that also reflected in this Helm? Dashboard providers, yeah. Okay, so let's have it like that for now. Grafana. We have dashboard providers. Let's call dashboard providers.yaml. And that's in the path varlib grafana dashboards default. So now we're telling grafana get your Providers, name of a dashboard folder, type file. When Grafana starts, it will update, insert all dashboards available in the configured path. It will later pull on that path every second and look for updated JSON files and insert those into the database. Okay. So with this, I'm saying, Grafana, you must look over there. And then this collection is mounted there. So Let's just create an extra volume mount here as well. So that creates a empty dear volume. Let's not commit all of those dashboards yet.
try Grafana dashboard provider. So now I'm telling Grafana that take a look at that directory all the time. And then I'm just going to hack in a couple of dashboards in there just to see how that will work. And then I could conceivably um, use Flux to copy those in there somehow. That would be an interesting thing to uh, try out as well. Like here, I'm not getting, we use the sidecar to automatically collect all dashboard JSON files into one directory for use by Grafana. I don't get why, how that works. But let's check out um, weave. Oh, Grafana failed. Volume mounts not found collection. Okay, so apparently we will need to have a thing. Actually, this is our oh, this is an example of the volumes. Oh, wait, host path is that where? What is host path in volumes again? Host path type volumes they refer to directories on the node where your pod is scheduled. Aha. Okay, so I can I could do that actually. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But let's not do that. It's interesting that they gave that as an example of, of all things. It could work though if I ha if I only have my Grafana set to one node, I could have it from there. Um, But let's just do a persistent volume claim. Um, How 
did that work again? Volumes, Kubernetes. For a pod that defines an empty dear volume, the volume is created when the pod is assigned to the node. All containers in the pod can read write the same files in the empty dear. Yeah, th that's actually what we wanted. This will implicitly create an empty dear volume as well. But that didn't work, so we'll do extra volumes. We'll name that collection. Here, the volume mount is collection. Pa mount it to there as a read only, and then create the volume of collection, okay? Add volume, push that. So we are essentially, I'm just trying to get an empty volume in my Grafana container and then I'm just going to, with kubectl, put the dashboards in there for now and see, just to see if it works. If not, I will have to some somehow find a way to generate config maps of all this stuff. But it would be nice to just have it as uh, just JSON files. Oh. Can't evaluate field name in type interface. What the heck? Oh, wait, maybe this should be like this. Yeah. Like I'm fine with having a hacky bash script that just pumps into those pumps in those uh, uh, JSON files every time I have to sort of 
redeploy Grafana or something, as long as I have the, 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 the set of standard dashboards that I would need it in a directory somewhere, and I have a way to quickly get that into my Grafana. And then I can ha let the Grafana persistence handle the rest. So the upgrade action is working. It has succeeded. Let's take a look. Uh, the Grafana pod. Has a collection volume of empty deer, which is great. So now, if I go to my home lab in the monitoring namespace, I have the Grafana pod exec it Grafana bash cd where uh, cd var lib grafana dashboards and then there's a default directory in there So that's that works because that's what we wanted, right? So that's the directory we want to look at. So now I just have to copy those files into the pod. Copy files into the pod. Um, Oh, it has kubect. Wow. First time I'm using that. Yep. Com copy temp full local file to temp bar in a remote pod. So cube CTL CP um, we have the utils temp and then we will do kubernetes uh, resources cluster.json to Monitoring slash does that do tab completion? No. This is the name of the pod. Okay. Then in a 
specific namespace and then we go in that pod to var uh, var lib grafana dashboards default Okay, so this should copy this JSON file into that pod, into that directory. Maybe it's already in there. So let's try another one. Multi cluster. Can remove old file, read only file system. Ah, it's doing exactly as we tell it to. So let's remove that setting. So now I'm removing the read only setting and then I should be able to just copy my dashboards in there. Wait for that to reconcile. It seems that it has been reconciled. So let's try that again. The pod has not been found because it has been redeployed with a new name. Hey, it worked. So I configured Grafana to be watching that directory every 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now if I am going to Grafana, I should see a multi-cluster dashboard there. Yes, <laughs> yes, it worked. <laughs> nice. Okay, I have my mo I have yes, nice. Cool. All right. It is time for me to make a cup of coffee. And then figure out a way to um, get all of these dashboards like ha to really to make my uh, volume set up a bit nicer. And then I have a way to mount, at least I have a way to mount my dashboards into my um, container here. So I'm happy with that. All right, I'm going to make some coffee, take a break, and I'll be right back. OK, back for the next round. Let's start the POMO timer. 
And now my goal is to set up a persistent volume for the dashboards and then write a little script to pump those dashboards uh, over there because now we just have this uh, empty deer volume but I want to have that persistent so local a local volume represents a mounted local storage device such as a disk a statically created persistent volume yeah So I have a already have a persistent volume over here. Like that. So a volume has the name Grafana default dashboards yeah so how is this volumes set up in the helm chart though extra volumes volumes default empty here set to persistent volume claim for persistent volume claim define an existing claim name with existing claim okay so i have to claim a can't just do a full-on volume definition there so extra volume Oh, interesting. Extra secret mounts using a container storage interface. That I actually want to do that later. Mount path run secrets. Interesting. Well, for now, I'm just going to yeah, I have to make sure I can't just do a full on vo volume. I have to consider the Helm chart, how it expects volumes to be defined. They default to empty there. And empty there is not persistent, right? The volume is created when the pod is assigned to a node. It's initially empty. When a pod is removed from a node, the data in empty deer is deleted, deleted permanently. So 
that is not a problem because I'm just going to have my default dashboards in there. But the thing is, if I delete my Grafana pod, then I have to somehow re-import the default dashboards every time. And that can get old pretty quickly. Um, Because is the Grafana, will Grafana handle the persistence of the default dashboards? That will be an interesting experiment actually, because I have it as a empty deer now. I have the dashboards here, this is the one that I copied over. So. I have it as an empty deer. So if I delete my Grafana pod now, it has this empty deer volume. Yeah, so let's just delete my Grafana pod and see if the dashboards persist. Delete. Grafana is being restarted. I have the empty deer volume again. So now if I go to Grafana again and reload my dashboards, I'm expecting the multi-cluster one at least to be gone. Yeah, okay. So now we know that the it is not being stored. Okay, but then we know that we need to define a, it's no problem, we just need to define a persistent volume claim first, somewhere. Um, Here, name plugins, existing claim. So we have a persistent volume claim already. Where is it? Um, storage, persistent volume claims, Grafana. Let's see what that looks like in code. So can I get Davis say Grafana O YAML? So this is what we are going to be adding in our configuration for Grafana. Here I'm going to add a persistent volume capacity only needs to be 100 megabytes if even that
Grafana default dashboards. No labels, no finalizers or annotations. Persistent volume claim. Persistent volumes. Because I believe if you just create a persistent volume claim without a volume, then it will create the volume for you. Cluster may try to dynamically provision a volume specifically for the PVC. Yeah. This is how it should look. Persistent volume claim. It has a name, a namespace, spec access modes. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, it's already the same. So now we are creating a persistent volume claim before Grafana is being deployed. Maybe I should put this in my Grafana configs setup actually. Configs. Yeah. Let's just create, let's just rename this to Grafana for now. Yep. Customization Grafana, and we're going to put all our Grafana stuff in these configs. No, but these configs are created after the controller is provisioned. So if it's trying to mount this volume claim, yeah, that won't work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Shit. Okay. Grafana data sources. put the claim in here. We create a persistent volume claim. Grafana default dashboards. Then we tell the Grafana Helm chart to look at this existing claim. Name Grafana default dashboards. And it's an existing claim. Grafana default dashboards. existing claim.
All right. So we are creating a persistent volume for our default dashboards so that it persists when I re, um, restart my pod. Add PV to Grafana. Because then I should only have to copy those JSON files to that persistent volume once, and then um, it will persist. Now I am really uh, curious as to. like the order of things that's going to happen now. So the per per flux is going to go through the, the, YAM the YAML, and then it should see there that the persistent volume claim needs to be created first, and then it goes to reapply Helm. So I'm really curious if, um, that's going to work because I'm fearing that it might fail because it's not finding the, the persistent volume. It is reconciling, however. It says it's ready. We have a persistent volume called Grafana default dashboards. Okay, nice. Okay, so then if I then copy a bunch of dashboards over, so what do we have in dashboards now? We just have this dashboard, oh, this one. I will delete that. No dashboards yet. We have no dashboards. And I'm going to now write a little script that um, is going to copy all of those things to my pod. So I want a script. Let's see if I can do this uh, on the fly. Utils. Config map collector. Uh, dashboard copy. It is a bash script, bin bash. Then I like to save changes. Yes. Make that executable. Utils temp dashboard copy. Um, pod name is. This is the pod name. Then for file in ls do Cop 
P K C P We are going to CP the file into the pod name. Done. Iterating over a less output is fragile. Use globs. Okay, so let's check shell check utils temp use clubs. Oh, okay. So that's a lot better actually. For file in JSON, you need a line feed or semicolon before the do. Maybe I don't need a do either. Do done. Here we go. Double quotes the variable names. I love this sort of script. Bash writing is so nice in the when you have shell check enabled. So then we are going to echo this for now. Dashboard copy. Yeah, so now it's copying. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. It takes every file in this directory and copies it to the Grafana pod. And because I have it persistent, I only have to do this when once basically. Um, and then it should persist of itself. Yeah, this is just one megabyte actually. But let's run the script. Remove the echo. See if it works as expected. It can't find the kubectl command. That's okay because it's does not in the alias is not in its environment. So we'll just do kubectl and run it again. That seems to have worked. Let's go into Grafana and see if we have some juicy dashbo dashboards here. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Woo. Cool. Cool, 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 man. Look at this beautiful stuff.
Awesome. 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 <laughs> I love this stuff. Look at what our nodes are doing. We have we are using 57% no memory on this node. And on thick pad, it's only 28%. How is our cluster doing? Uh, cluster. 34% of memory commitment. So yes, this is so nice. I'm so happy because I really like the default dashboards from the Q Prometheus chart, but uh, I didn't want to use that chart anymore because I want to split it off. And now I managed to <laughs> hack out those default dashboards and put them into my own configuration in code. This is cool. Now, this card, if I now refresh this, since I have used a persistent volume, when I delete my Grafana pod, I should be able to uh, see these dashboards still. So that's what I'm going to try now. Go to the Grafana pod and kill it. because since it has this persistent volume claim, the dashboard should still be here. So let's go home, go back to dashboards, and yes, they are still here, yay! Yay, 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 yay. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. I'm happy about this. I'm really happy about this. Okay. We're going places. Now, um, I'm going to clean up a little bit because this is just really messy. Let's try uh, script to let's just clean. Let's clarify a few things and commit them. Script to copy JSON file, copy dashboards. JSON files to the Grafana pod. The path is the mount point of the persistent volume defined in the helm install. Okay, that's good. config map collector S uh, collects config maps collects uh, Grafana dashboard JSON files from config maps so we have those two utility scripts I can just remove the config map collector from here and move temp to Grafana. Grafana, um, I use, I have a cube Prometheus stack, the cube Prometheus stack. Helm chart comes 
comes with a very good s with a very with a very good set of default dashboards when I make when I um, migrated Grafana to a when I used when I decided to split my Grafana deployment I lost the these were not included I wrote a script I use scripts to extract them from com the config maps and then I copy them to a persistent volume I have mounted into the Grafana container. Okay. The Grafana contains all the default dashboards that are included in the cube Prometheus stack uh, help chart. Utils, add utils, dir and dashboard, copy and dashboards as code. Nice. All right, I'm happy with my Grafana setup again. And the, the main reason I did all of this work is, well, first of all, I've learned so much about Grafana and Prometheus and monitoring in general, how this uh, is set up. But I want to configure custom secrets for Grafana as well. And I couldn't do that with the Q Prometheus stack helm chart. And now I have much more control over the Grafana instance and how I use it. So up next, I think I would like to deploy Loki as well. And then my uh, monitoring setup is uh, going places. Now, video home lab dashboards as code. In this video, I have um, extracted all dashboards from Q Prometheus stack deployment config maps and converted to JSON, set up Grafana chart to use persistent volume for default dashboards, um, wrote script to import default dashboards to persistent volume. Now after copying these dashboards are persistent, so only needs to be done on fresh cluster deployment. Cool, now I have my data source as code and I have my dashboard as code. So let's take a look at what We have the infrastructure monitoring Grafana. Actually, let's clean this up too. I'm not going to use the 
Kubernetes monitoring anymore. Neither am I going to be using the Prometheus stack anymore. Oh, wait. Oops. Git restore infrastructure Prometheus that I do want. I just don't want the Prometheus.yaml because that was the Prometheus Helm chart I was using. We don't need that. So this can be gone, this can go. So we have our monitoring with Q Prometheus stack and Grafana. I'm happy with how this is looking. Yes. Okay, I can clean that up a little bit later, I think. That's fine. And then we have the controllers here for Weave, CSI, and Cert Manager. And we have our data sources over there. Nice. Okay, let's commit these chore clean up unused code. So the Prometheus Grafana setup is uh, done for now. I'm happy with that. Now in the next uh, round, I'm going to be configuring Loki. Now I feel like I need a little break. And um, I'm happy with this uh, morning's work. I, uh, I, I'm probably able to just delete my entire cluster and redeploy my entire monitoring setup, including default dashboards and uh, data sources from scratch. And uh, that's exactly what I wanted to learn. So I'm going to end this one here and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good day.